Hey guys, welcome back to the Startup of You Diaries. In this episode, I'm gonna be reaching out to my network and also sending off my resume and my portfolio, which we covered in the last video. And at the end of this video, you're gonna see me doing some journal prompts for my own business, which you can use as well. Let's get into it. So what I'm doing right now is just compiling a list of different places that I can search for a startup job. I don't really know people in the startup space. I used to be roommates with back in San Jose are all at freaking tech companies. My ex is at Cisco. Vincent went to Red Hat. Joseph is doing really Really, really well for himself he works at facebook i really want to be at a company when it's first starting out and really push that vision along good morning guys i'm about to attend an event called how vcs think and how to speak the language we do is we are constantly trying to fit people to startups you know and i can imagine right now given our thesis hey i'm a ui ux designer i notice you're in robotics but also artificial intelligence i really really want to do ui ux work for a robotics company who should i be talking to I'm super happy that joe answered my question it's all about tone and context no matter who you're emailing who you're reaching out to you have to do your homework now for the question of the day what is your competitive advantage i'm super curious leave me a comment below and let me know for example i would say my competitive advantage is being able to combine communication skills with a creative skill set in order to create content that really resonates with the audience. I have talked to two really cool people today, but again, I'm so in my head, I'm just, I'm, I need to calm the F down. Typically there's two people that I reached out to that I met at Vimon. One of them is a CEO in the data protection space that I have a lot of respect for, is super cool, like super nice, so I love him. And um, he has a great nose, <laughs> but I've told him that too, he knows. I tell this story you guys are gonna clown on me there's this young guy that was working for purdue <laughs> there was somebody that he wanted to talk to and he's like oh i would love to go in that area and i was like let's just do it and he's like no it's vip and i just did not give a sh and i just linked arms with this guy and then we just because <laughs> we have no shame one of the people that we ended up meeting there her name was crystal and she was one of the presenters and it was just I don't know. Like we ended up talking. She's super cool and she actually encouraged me to look into becoming a speaker because she did a lot of the speaking gigs and stuff like that and she has like a whole company that runs it. I ended up making a video for Vimon that she was asking to use for a presentation. I responded back to her and I also was like, hey, if you know anybody that needs a creative person. Switching gears, talking about starting my own business and everything, I wanted to share some of these ideas with you. And what I really want to work on is to help people develop a really deep understanding and relationship to themselves. I want people to feel healthy, fit, feel structured and organized and to achieve their goals, which is something that I really struggled with in my earlier 20s, which actually has to do with the fact that your brain is still developing, your prefrontal cortex is still, it's not there yet. And that's the reason why it can be harder for you to do a lot of goal setting. I thought that was really fascinating when I found that out from Dr. Daniel Amen's program. And anyways, I want people to have a healthy relationship to themselves and others. I'm like, maybe I need to work on that one because I am kind of a hermit. I could definitely tell you how to cut people out of your life <laughs> if you're interested. I've done it all so many times. I'm like a wizard at it at this point. I was coming up with so many more creative ideas for my art channel, which I don't wanna say I completely abandoned, but I just, I had like ideas for art, but they were kind of quote unquote too dark. It's very, I don't know, nine inch nails, Marilyn Manson vibes. I was not even inspired to create a lot of art. And I'll show you guys my back wall over here. You see, I love this stuff. Like it's very, very, you know, um, I don't even know what you'd call it. It's like happy. <laughs> it doesn't have a dark vibe to it. Now I'm getting chills over here because um, this is like a whole other story. I know some of you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but like this painting over here has gotten haunted before. And it's kind of giving me a weird vibe right now, just looking at it. Um, but I have like different styles of art, okay? Ugh. Einstein, like don't look at me like that. Anyways, yeah. I couldn't even think about a marketing strategy for that if I wanted to go full blown and just like do art for a living. I just could not come to terms with it. And then I started thinking about it and I'm like, it's very heaven hell. I feel like that's like the best way to describe it. I just got chills, like I swear if that painting is haunted again, I'm gonna be so pissed off. 